Hi there, welcome to Configuring Endpoint Security Within VMs. The term endpoint system refers to a computer system that interacts directly with an end user. So this means that devices like desktop computers, laptops, tablets, and smartphones are all considered endpoint systems. That being the case, they need to be secured. Failing to properly secure these endpoint systems opens them up to becoming launch pads for security attacks on other networked systems. Because securing infrastructure as a service offerings requires more customer responsibility than platform as a service and software as a service did, Microsoft has made available the Azure Security Center. The Azure Security Center provides you with the tools that are necessary for hardening your network and securing your services. The first step to protecting your virtual machines is to protect them from malware. To do this, you need to install anti-malware on them. This helps you identify and remove viruses, spyware, and many other kinds of malicious software. There are two ways you can go about this. You can either install Microsoft anti-malware, or you can install a third-party endpoint protection solution. Once you have your anti-malware solution installed on your virtual machines, you'll want to integrate that solution with Azure Security Center so you can monitor the status of your anti-malware protection on those VMs. Azure Security Center allows you to view reports on the endpoint protection issues blade. What it does is highlight detected threats and insufficient protection, which obviously make your VMs vulnerable to malware threats. By deploying anti-malware on your machines and then integrating it with Azure Security Center, you'll have the information necessary to create plans for addressing potential threats. In the upcoming demonstration, I'll show you how to configure and monitor anti-malware on virtual machines. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to enable and configure Microsoft anti-malware while provisioning a new VM in the Azure portal. On the screen here, you can see I'm in the Azure portal, so what I'm going to do is deploy a new VM. Now we're not going to do step-by-step -step on VM deployment because I'm going to assume you know how to do that already. I just want to show you where you'd go to deploy the Microsoft anti-malware during this process. So what we're going to do is select virtual machines here, and then we're going to click add to deploy a new VM. And what we'll do here is we'll just select one of my test resource groups here. And we'll give our new VM a name. Not doing anything specific here. And we'll leave our region and information here at their defaults. We will select our Windows Server OS image here. Since we are installing the Microsoft Anti-Malware. And we'll specify a username here. Okay. And we'll leave everything else here at its default. We'll move on to disks. Again, we'll leave everything at its default. What we're going to do is get over here into advanced. So we'll click through through networking. We'll leave our default network interface information set here. We'll go into management. Again, we'll leave everything at the default here. I'm not trying to show you how to configure management of a VM. And then we'll go into advanced. Now under advanced here, under extensions, what we do is click the select an extension to install link. And what this is going to do is allow us to select an extension we want to install. And over here on the right, we can see Microsoft Anti-Malware as an option. We'll select that, and then we'll click Create. Now, in the installation configuration screen here, we can exclude certain files and locations. We can exclude different extensions and even processes for Anti-Malware. And then we can enable or disable real-time protection or we can configure it to run a scheduled scan. The scan type here allows us to specify whether we want to do a quick scan or a full scan. And then of course we can specify the day and the scan time. I'll leave these options at their defaults. We'll click OK. 
And then from here, what we would do is go back down to the bottom of the page for our VM creation. We would review and create. And then what we would do is create the VM. When this VM is deployed, it's going to be deployed with Microsoft Anti-Malware installed. And that's pretty much it. It's not real difficult uh, to get Microsoft Anti-Malware installed, but I wanted to show you uh, that process and where you needed to go to install that extension.